Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. This is Pastor Patrick with your word for the day. Today, we're continuing working through the book of James. Now, you know, I love the book of James because it's a book of action. And if you've been around Calvary for any length of time, you know that we believe that if you read and apply God's word, it will change your life. Today's reading in James chapter 1, verses 19 through 21, provides practical instruction on how Jesus' followers should speak and how to deal with anger. It says, Know this, my beloved brothers, let every person be quick to hear, slow to speak, slow to anger, for the anger of man does not produce the righteousness of God. Therefore, therefore put, all, put away all filthiness and rampant wickedness, and receive with meekness the implanted word, which is able to save your souls. Have you ever been around somebody who always seems to have an opinion about whatever is being discussed? You know the one. The first one that inserts their dialogue into a work meeting or the first person to share that political post on social media? Have you ever noticed that the more quickly someone shares their opinion, the less credibility they might have? You know, like many things, our first human reaction is probably the wrong reaction. James encourages us to be quick to hear, slow to speak, and slow to anger. Chances are good that your gut reaction to a particular situation probably isn't the right one if you're prone to put your foot in your mouth like I am. You know, I can't tell you how many times I've made an assumption before I had all of the information. And for me, this is one of the most practical uh, pieces of advice in the entirety of Scripture. Listen. Don't speak. Be patient. Don't react in anger. You know, as somebody that struggles with anger, I find that the angrier I get and the more I react to a particular situation, the less likely the person that I'm talking to or the person that I'm getting angry at is going to be to hear what I'm actually saying to them to begin with. You see, the anger of man that James is discussing in verse 20 is really not effective in changing anyone's mind about anything anyway. And you know, even though it feels good sometimes to get angry, even though our initial human reaction is just to get upset and really convince someone that they're wrong and that we're right, James tells us, hey, listen, we need to fight that urge. We have to exercise self-control and patience and listen first. Now listen, I'll be the first to tell you, I struggle with anger. If you struggle with anger too, and you're tired of continuing to struggle, even though you just promised yourself yesterday or last week or last month that you're not going to lose your cool next time, I want to invite you to join me every single Monday night at 630 at our Sweetwater campus for Celebrate Recovery. Calvary, I hope this verse study helps you today as much as it helped me preparing it. Have a great day.